Hello my dear YouTuber friends and welcome to this new video which is an update video of my Vodafone mobile Wi-Fi box. I did an original review of this about four months ago and I praised it for its high speed. After four months of use, has this lived up to expectations? Has it lived up to the standard that I set in that original video? I'll go into all the gory details with you in a moment. A couple of disclaimers. I live in the UK. You can probably tell by my very strange and mixed up accent. So I'm going to be referring to broadband speeds in the UK, which are not the best in the world, not the best in Europe. We're actually behind most of the world in broadband speeds, it seems to be. We're still catching up. You can get very fast ones, they tend to be quite expensive. With the main providers like BT and Sky, I'm going to be uh, comparing those kind of speeds with this, the speed from this. So just keep that in mind. Another thing is I want to be brutally honest with this review. I'm not sponsored by Vodafone. I'm not getting paid for this video. I'm just going to be completely honest with my experience in the past four months with this mobile Wi-Fi box. So let's get on with it. Let's get straight to the meat and veg of this video. Has it been as quick for me? Has it been quick? and good and reliable over the past four months. Now I've just done a quick broadband speed, internet speed. This is fast.com if you want to try this yourself. As you can see I've got 51 megabits download and 18 megabits upload. Now that sounds all fantastic and very quick. I've run this a few times. I'm not going to bother running this live for you on in this video because <laughs> I want to talk about other things rather than just sit there and go through this test. It takes quite a few seconds. I've run it quite a few times. This seems to be about the average. I get about 50 megabits download. Roughly, usually about 20 megabits upload. That's on average. In megabytes, you divide megabits by uh, 8 to get a megabyte, basically. So that's going to be just over 6 megabytes per second download. And oh, it's going on to about 2.5 megabits upload. So not too bad. And I'll show you what that means in practice. For the upload speed, when I make a YouTube video, and if it's about a couple of gigabytes large, I can typically, typically upload that video to YouTube within 10 to 20 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. Smaller videos, a gigabyte, half a gigabyte, they're done within minutes. It can be blindingly quick. This test is a good test to get an idea, but it's not always completely reliable. I do believe I have a faster, much faster upload speed than that. Download speed, I have a slightly faster download. That can go to 60, 70 sometimes. So it's not always reliable, it just gives you an idea but it's still pretty quick. Certainly quick compared to a BT, which I had for about three or four years. I had fiber octave, octave BT, and it was, about, it was about half the speed of this. It's one of the main reasons I actually went with this and why I wanted this. Not only do I move around a lot, I often go and work in Ireland. I often go and visit family in the north of England. I live generally in the south, but I tend to move around a lot. I didn't want a landline. And basically, BT ripped me off. Over three years, my bill was knocking on to £60 a month compared to £33 for this. So, I, it, in general, I find this a lot cheaper and more reliable option. But listen, those are the basic things. By the way, I've got this connected to my laptop. This is the charging cable, mini USB to USB. It's a charging cable, basically. I don't want to degrade the battery. You can, of course, unhinge that, unplug it, rather. 
And then you can carry that around with you. Put it in your pocket, walk down the street, you've got ultra fast, or you've got fast internet. May not be the fastest in the world, but it's certainly been very quick for me. And I'm going to show you a demonstration of how it downloads with the PS5. That will be a good test. So let's go into the other room and jump onto the PS5. And okay, I've got my PS5 turned on. I'm downloading Persona 5, I believe it is. Now, just to give you some idea of the internet speeds, that's typically what you can expect. It's downloading what? Five, six megabytes a second, which is well, sometimes more, it seems. Which is not too bad. I've literally just started that. That game's going to be downloaded in 12 minutes. Now, depending on the game you get, actually, I didn't prepare this, so I'm going to pull it out of the drawer now. I bought the other day, sorry, I rented the other day Demon Souls from a rental company in the UK. It's, it's Boomerang Games. In case you're interested in renting games, they rent PS4, Xbox, PS5, and all that good stuff. Ranked in this, put the disc into the PS5, 50 gigabytes, I think a lot of it was transferred from disc, but still 50 gigabytes was done in under an hour. Let's now go in towards the gigabyte, I literally just started that. So you can get a rough idea of how it downloads on the PS5. First day, I'll link my original, first, sorry, my first day impressions of the PS5 video. On that first day, the first game I bought was Miles Morales. I really wanted to see that, how it would look on the PS5. As I was setting up, going through the settings on the PS5, that game had downloaded, and what's that, maybe 30 gigabyte? It can be blindingly quick. This is about average, but as you can see, it's still quick enough. That game's gonna be downloaded and done and dusted within no time at all. So that gives you a speed idea. But, here's another thing. I'm actually watching a premiere, so it's live feed, on YouTube, from a guy I'm subscribed to, it's Paradise Decay. Target practice. Just show you down here, I've got it in high definition. Terrible. Terrible aim there from me. So 1080p. Watching that live. Okay, I need to no get buffering. To, uh, the Go and check out his channel. Side, the, uh, Interesting to watch if you like VR games. Side. But no buffering on that feed. Side. I'll just click that so it doesn't talk over me. Oh, greatest respect to you, Paradise Decay, of course. Uh, but as you can see, that still downloads, and it still downloads fine. If you are a couple, so man, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, and you want to share the internet, you're looking for a solution, reasonably priced solution, you're perhaps looking at a uh, mobile broadband, you both want to be using it at the same time, one of you wants to be watching a video, let's click that again, one of you wants to be watching a video, whether it be YouTube, so Netflix. The other one wants to be downloading a game. Okay, As you can see, that's still downloading fine. It's already? absolutely doable with that mobile broadband box. Absolutely doable. I often download games on my PC via Steam or whatever whether it be Flight Simulator, DCS, whatever I'm downloading. And typically while that's downloading, I'll watch a YouTube video, either one that's just a simple YouTube video, or one that's going live at that moment. And I can watch it in high definition, typically on the same monitor in fact, with no buffering and typically very little slowdown on the download and no buffering on the YouTube video. So basically it's durable. One of you wants to watch a video, one of you wants to download. Absolutely durable, and it's fine. It does it 
much better I found than my BT uh, Fibre Octave line did. Really didn't cut the mustard. It often buffered videos when I was downloading. Often I couldn't watch videos when I was downloading a game with that. With this one, absolutely no problem at all. So it's a big thumbs up there. That's almost done now. Just another gigabyte to go. There are a couple of caveats to this. Maybe one of the big one is... I don't know how this will perform in your area or location. Specifically in the UK I'm talking now. It works fine in the south of England. I stayed in a hotel near Gatwick the other week. It was still super fast. I live on the south coast. London, that type of area, no problem. I've not been able to visit family near Manchester recently because of the pandemic. I wanted to and I wanted to take this with me to test it. I've not, so I can't say how it will perform depending on where you live. I know on my original video some people were saying it wasn't so good, some people were saying it was fantastic. I can't say how it will perform on your area, in your location. Get the general speed of mobile uh, internet speed in your area. If it's fast, this is likely to be fast. If it's not so fast, you can get this in a 14 day trial and return it if you're not satisfied. So at least you can try it. Another caveat is that it's, you can't hardwire this. You can't put an ethernet cable. The only port you have is for the charging cable. There's no other port on there. You just got that one port to charge the battery. So if you want a hard, if you want to sort of Ethernet this to your PC, you can't. It's simply a Wi Fi solution. Other than that, full thumbs up from me for the past four months. I'll be looking to keep this certainly for the 12 months. I'm still paying £33 a month, and that will be for the full 12 months because that's what that's what was written on the contract. £33 for 12 months. I'll link the details down below for you in the description. I'm on unlimited data on the fastest possible speed plan, the £33 a month plan. If it goes up after that 12 months, if, if the price increase, I may think twice about it. If it doesn't increase, obviously I'm going to keep it. I'm really, really happy about it. Complete recommendation. That's almost done now. So I'll be playing Persona 5 maybe in hmm, three, three minutes now. Fantastic. Full recommendation if you've got a PlayStation 5, you're looking for a solution, your internet's not quick enough, that might be a solution for you. You're downloading generally from PC, you move around a lot, definitely a solution for you. If you're a couple of people, you wanted a, a you'd sick up the sort of a, high charges of things like BT and other broadband broadband uh, ISPs have not been quick enough for you then maybe give this a try like I say it's a 14 day return policy on it so it's worth trying anyway that's my review for four months later on my Vodafone mobile Wi-Fi box that's a heck of a mouthful Please leave your comments below, give the video a like if you liked it, subscribe for more and I'll see you soon.